हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम बैक टू माई यूट्यूब चैनल आई होप यू गाइज आर डूइंग ग्रेट एंड आर एन पिंक ऑफ हेल्थ सो टूडे वी विल लर्न द डिफरेंस बिटवीन लेंथ फंक्शन लेंथ फंक्शन एंड द काउंट फंक्शन लेंथ फंक्शन एंड द काउंट फंक्शन आर वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फंक्शन एंड यू हैव टू वॉच द वीडियो केयरफुली एंड वेन आई से दिस बिलीव मी गाइज मोस्ट ऑफ द इंटरव्यूअर्स आस द डिफरेंस बिटवीन लेंथ फंक्शन एंड द काउंट फंक्शन ओके so without wasting further more time let's get right into the video so when do we use len function we use len function we when we want to count the characters when we want the count of the characters okay so when i say this i mean let's say i want to know the length of uh, uh, this name uh, ram okay i want to know the length of the characters okay so let's see what it gives 3 the length how many characters are there 3 so it gives me 3 okay so this is a uh, useful when we want uh, a validation on a text field let me show you that as well let's take a text field over here okay uh value uh ram okay and uh Okay, let me take a local variable first. Okay, bang local variables. Okay, I'll store the value of this text field in my local variable. Cool. Value local a. Save into local a. Now I want. to validate this field i i don't want to allow the user to enter more than four characters okay so validation we have a parameter called validations let's use this if condition if len of len of what len of local variable local a is greater than or equals to is greater than 4 okay if it is Five, it means it mean it means it is greater than four, right? So, it should say uh, maybe invalid, okay? Invalid name, something like that. Else, nothing, okay? So, let's try. Uh, Rama, okay. Okay, now I'll add one more character to this name. T, invalid name, right? Now if I remove two characters from this name, nothing. I hope you understood uh, the use of this len function. Okay. So now let's uh, move on to this length function. Length. Let's see uh, what it does. So it uh, counts the number of elements in an array. okay it never includes it never includes null values okay so in order to include null values in order to count the null values in order to have a count of null values you have to use count function okay let's try this out mm, ram jerry okay and this is gonna be null okay so what are we expecting here we are expecting two because this length function never includes null okay so let's try try this out test 2 right it has excluded this null value okay now let's try the same thing with count function now what are we expecting here we are expecting 3 right because count includes null values okay let's try this out 3 yeah so what is the main difference between count and length function the difference between count and length function is that count includes null values but length does not include null value okay so i think that's all i have for today if you want more such videos please like my video share it as much as you can and yes don't forget to subscribe i'll see you guys in my next video until then cheers bye bye